Hi guys, thanks for stopping in my channel. In this video I'll be talking about Color Space Transform and more precisely project settings you need to set. So some of you were asking about the settings so I decided to make a separate video about project settings in order to do CSD on the node tree. And if you haven't seen the actual video of color grading using Color Space Transform, you can check the uh, description under this video and there is a link with the whole video breakdown how I do color grading with CSD. Without further ado, let's just jump into DaVinci and let's create a new project. So we click new project, I'm gonna name it CSD. And immediately we jump into project settings. I'm gonna set 25 frames per second and data levels full. Image scaling, I'll do scale full frame with crop that helps to crop the footage that is different aspect ratios and you don't have to do it manually later. Going to color management, this is where we need to set timeline color space to DaVinci Intermediate because we're gonna be working in DaVinci color space and that's why we do these color space transform nodes on the node tree. Furthermore, I'm gonna go to general options and mix frame rate, I'll choose none. Camera roll, I'm gonna set up Blackmagic Raw and video capture and playback 25 frames per second. And basically that's it, super easy. And then you just need to import media, create basic node tree, and then choose color space transform. Input color space will be black magic design white gamut gen 4 slash 5. Input gamma will be black magic design film. Output color space will be DaVinci white gamut and output gamma will be DaVinci intermediate. And then again, we create another node Again, we drag color space transform and then we go into choose DaVinci white gamut. Input gamma will be DaVinci intermediate. Output color space will be Rec 709 and output gamma also Rec 709. Or if you want to apply the DaVinci film uh, LEDs already provided in the system, then choose Cineon. And then you just apply, let's say, the LED. So the main thing is that we're working in DaVinci Intermediate color space, which is wider than, than Rec. 79 or something like that. So it's just one unified color space to edit, let's say different uh, footage from different cameras and that helps. Okay, that is it of the video. I hope it was useful for you. And if you haven't seen my other color grading videos, you can check those videos and there are some links in the description below. And also thanks for subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. It's nice to build this community where we can answer each other's questions and talk to each other and solve the problems together. So that's amazing. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Have a good one. Bye.